All right, guys, so today we got something little that I work on at the shop. We got a Packard MX-13. It's in a mixer truck. Uh, one of the coolant fittings snapped off in the side of the block. It's pretty common for us, unfortunately. They're plastic and they vibrate around, age, heat, whatever makes them soft and brittle and they break. Usually they'll start to leak first because you can see how the O-ring deforms and they give you these to replace it. Uh, I do like these. I wish they were quick connect, but they're not. So you have to clamp a piece of silicone hose to it. The problem when these break is it leaves a, the threaded portion in a block. So what I do is I take a chisel that fits in, I drive it in, and then you can use your crescent wrench to back it out. You don't have to go wild, you don't want to exert any force, but you can see that it uh, drives in there and you can spin it back out. And usually they come right back out. Sometimes I've had to actually chisel the threads out. The reason I don't use a normal extractor is they exert force on the outside and lock the threads up tighter. This one actually goes, it's gonna be a little hard to see, but actually goes down in there. So when it don't breaks that, it pumps all the coolant out. Uh, the other thing is, I know I haven't been uploading a lot lately, uh, trying to get the new shop wired and get it set up. It's taking up a lot of time and with life and work and everything else, I just don't have a lot of time. But guys, especially if you're working on stuff where you're stepping up and down all day, you'll see younger guys, they wanna jump down. Terrible, terrible idea. Uh, it's hard on your joints, hard on just your entire body. So get yourself a small step stool. I, I'm 100% for it. Anything you can do to make stepping down versus jumping down, the impact will kill you. Um, trust me, I know I had hip surgery about a year and a half ago, and it, it's just, this is the way to do it and be easier, and anything you can do to make it easier. Like, I'd love if they made this brass fitting a quick connect. They do these quick connects because it's easy for assembly at the factory. There's no other reason to do it, so it'd be nice, especially where that thing's mounted behind the turbo, and then you don't have to mess around with trying to get it clamped tight and everything like that, and use the right hose clamps on silicone hose. A lot of people use a regular worm clamp, but they use lined clamps on silicone hose. Uh, definitely put those back because the regular worm clamps eat through the silicone hose. You know, the factory uses these quick style, but when you use a lined worm clamp, like a proper tensioning clamp, it will it will hold up fine uh, but that's definitely one of the, the things to watch out for on these pack cars there's what the problem is the dealer says those fittings are no longer available we used to be able to get them the replacement plastic ones but the dealer says they're no longer available the funny part is we have 21 22 trucks that still came with them from the factory so I don't know why we're having such a hang up getting them I, I do believe the brass is a better way I remember dealing with these plastic fittings on early GMs and stuff like that, and they broke to coolant elbows and stuff like that. So, you know, the aftermarket came up with an aluminum solution. I think Dorman made them, and they worked great. Uh, but apparently the aftermarket for big trucks just isn't the same. So if you're working on an MX-13 and you're running into this, or you have a coolant leak that's from the back of the head or side of the block, chances are you should check these plugs or, or check these fittings. And you'll get them. Like I said, they start leaking. Do not try to tighten them down. If you try to tighten them down, chances are they're just gonna break the next time the truck goes out. And then when it does that, these trucks will throw the stop engine light and you're stuck. And it's just easier to, hey, this thing's leaking, let's order the replacement, let's get it fixed. All right, guys, like I said, I'll update you on the new shop build soon. Uh, it's almost done. The lifts are on order. We're getting there. It's just when you're doing everything by yourself, it takes time.